Hey, hey, hey! There he here again. I'm showing my second layout with 2016 December hip kits. And this one is really different than the first one because I used something dark on the background. Uh, we had this love of wooden pattern um, in one of our exclusive papers from Hip, Hip Kit Club. And I decided I will do a large piece of it on top of my background. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> I haven't been doing this for years and I feel really brave and bold to do it. Anyway, I used double-sided tape to adhere this large piece of the wooden paper. And then, as well uh, as my um, youngest dog is brown and white, and she had this gorgeous uh, fuchsia a pink coat, now that it's winter, I decided to do a layout of her and these papers are matching so well for this photograph. Uh, most of the papers are from Pink Paisley uh, Take Me Away collection, which is designed by uh, Paige Taylor Evans, which I adore or whom I adore. Um, I took lots of Epamera from the, from the same collection and few paper pieces from Crate Paper as well. Uh, I did some kind of paper layering uh, from the Epamera as well as usual paper pieces. To make a kind of frame for the photograph, I picked up this fuchsia pink larger piece of paper and I had good intents to use the white stickers to make the title for the layout but somehow I decided to add more, more color and use the stickers from the Take Me Away collection. So. I had fun planning this all out because um, usually when I'm going with my favorite color scheme like blue, teal green, turquoise uh, and of course black and white, um, the planning of the layout is much easier. But now that I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone by using this large brown thing on the background and then lots of pink. Uh, the planning is kind of slower. I want to think more of the planning thing and make sure that there is not too much going on because it's not nice to look at the layout later if there is too much going on. And that's why at this point I decided not to use the large white title because it would have, it would have been too, too something. It, it just didn't match for my ideas. But then, again, the stickers by themselves gave me the idea of the title. I plan to use Wild About You title, but then I picked up the letters from these stickers and did Wild About Elsa <laughs> title. The dog name is Elsa, yep from the Frozen movie, as our daughters are in love with the Frozen movie. And Elsa is also really traditional Finnish name. I don't know, is that from Finland or from somewhere else? But anyway, it's really old and traditional name. So Elsa is really good name for the dog. And she acts like a princess, so it really matches well for her. Uh, I was kind of... Um, unsure where to set the title, but as I have this large vertical, uh, no vertical, horizontal piece, the brown piece on the background, I decided to kind of highlight it and add the title uh, together with the same line. But first the picture there, because part of the uh, title might be on the photograph, and now I'm thinking where to set it, but now that is good. I'm using the old-fashioned 
<laughs> way to add straight title by by adding first the letters to the ruler and then add them from there for the paper. And as I want everything going um, kind of smoothly together, I added just a tiny piece of the last T behind the photo. It's not a big deal. It's not like you have to do it. But for me, that was the kind of last point. I wanted to do it because then it kind of looks that everything is together. Everything has been set up and decided. And then, now I thought this wild about is kind of looking, um, how to say it, boring. Well, the boring is not probably the best word. I think alone would be the better one. So as I was ready by adding the all other words for the uh, layout, this point I was thinking about you and then I changed it to Elsa. Um, I wanted to add some few more paper pieces um, below the wild word because now it, it, it looks alone, doesn't it? So I added the Elsa word again partly under the uh, layers and then I took some other papers and added them. Because, also because, I want to use this great paper Maggie Holmes mini tassels. Some are asking in our HipKit Club Facebook member group that how do you use them, how to use those tassels on the scrapbook page. But I just added some thread and then uh, glued them to look like they are hanging from the uh, other elements on the page. First I decided to add them hanging from the photograph, but as said, the wild about words are looking really lonely, so I took these little pieces of one of the uh, pink paisley take me away papers and added some 3D foam uh, behind them and then added them under the wild and about words. Uh, I tried to fix my loneliness of the word by adding some enamel dots, but that wasn't enough. It, it just wasn't enough. So I added some, some paper first and then the enamel dots. And at, at the same time, the tassels are um, glued on. I first glued uh, strings or threads. I don't know which one is the good for, word for that. But first I glued them and then when I was happy with the setting, I added some glue behind the actual tassels. Uh, you can ha uh, leave them hanging around, but it probably will not be <laughs> looking good when you set your scrapbook page to your album. So I wanted to make sure they are looking good. So that's why I added some glue. And of course, uh, finishing touches with the color kit uh, mist. This was from Hades Swap, and the other one is from Shimmers. The shade is concrete, and it's really wonderful. As all the Shimmers mist, uh, this ones, but this one is also included. Lots of uh, shininess sheen <laughs> something like that anyway i'm really happy about this colorful layout and it was really different from me i think but i'm really happy about it i hope you are too and if you have any ideas or hopes about what techniques should i use on my videos just leave me a message here thank you for watching and bye